Thank you for being with us. Welcome to St. Columba's. My name is Michael Anderson. I'm the rector here, and it's my pleasure to be uh, recording this service with Paula Ment. Tonight is a contemplative form of worship modeled on the worship of the Taze community. The music consists of repeated refrains so that we can let the words settle into our hearts. I would encourage you to enter into the prayer in whatever way you're comfortable. Sing along, light a candle, listen, pray. Thanks for being with us. We'll begin after a few moments of silence. Thank you. 
my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that, according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the things what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now, to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever.
Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing to the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There's a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about 5,000 in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountains by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into the boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. Then they reached to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land for which they were going.
At this moment, there's going to be a short time of silence, which will be indicated by the chime. And I will conclude the silence with the same chime. One in the communion of saints and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we join our voices in prayer for our world, ourselves, and all in need. God of generations, you work in us far more than we can ask or imagine. Bless the church you have called into being across time and space and fill it with the power of the Spirit for loving service. God of grace, Hear our prayer. God of field and forest, streams and seas, you are the fullness of all things. As grains of wheat grow upon the earth and fish swim in the waters, sustain your creation. Protect harvests and give every person food in due season. Bring relief to areas affected by wildfires, storms, tornadoes, earthquakes, or other natural disasters. 
God of grace, hear our prayer. God beyond borders, you rule all in all. Bless the work of humanitarians and peacekeepers. Heal those who live, work, or serve in harm's way, and bring an end to war and conflict, especially in our own country, Israel, Gaza, the entire Middle East, Ukraine, Russia, and Sudan. God of grace, hear our prayer. God of mercy, you root us and ground us in love. As you inspired our ancestors in their ministry, sustain us also in our ongoing works and in our new endeavors, that your glory may be made known and your loving kindness shared anew. God of grace, hear our prayer. God of healing, you open wide your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. We remember any who are sick or suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Families in our communities who endure hunger. Those who seek asylum or citizenship. And our beloved for whom death is here. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Living God, however poor our prayers, we search for you with confidence. And your love carves out a way forward through our hesitations and even through our doubts. And to your mercy we, com we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray, trusting in the one who is the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. As we go into a time of singing meditative songs, I want to invite you to light a candle, offer a prayer, reflect on what you heard, or sing along. However you feel the spirit leading is a wonderful thing.
you for joining us and for worshiping with us and for meditating with us. I pray, Lord, that the Lord blesses you and keeps you and makes his face to shine upon you this week. Thank you.